Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to have a uh, little Marine Corps style school circle conversation. Um, we got a lot of garbage being fed to us here in this country uh, by our politicians and by the, uh, the media. Um, I'm here to tell you there's no such thing as gun violence. What we have is we have violent individuals that are completely unchecked, out of checked, what, whatever, but they commit violence and they commit violence by whatever means necessary. A um, few weeks back, we had a guy uh, drive through a parade in an SUV. He drove through, he hit and killed several individuals they blamed it on the SUV. If you look at the media, it says SUV just plows through a parade. You know, this guy was a career criminal, shouldn't have been on the streets in the first place. And rather than take responsibility for, you know, allow him to still walk the streets, our politicians and the media want to put this spin on and Hey, it's the SUV's fault. The SUV did it. Well, guns are tools, okay? You can sharpen a popsicle stick and you can stab someone with the popsicle stick and kill them. That's not considered popsicle stick violence. Violence is violence and it comes from the individual. And there are several means of where a lot of people do this. Use the hands. Some people use blunt force trauma. Some people were strangled to death, so forth, on and on and on, okay? In this country, um, there's this group of individuals that want to target our guns. Uh, guns actually save more lives than they take, guarantee you, okay? Um, when you call 911, the police show up with guns. If it's an active shooter or some other violence, they show up with what's called assault weapons, you know. They're the so-called first responders. But that is incorrect because you are your own individual first responder. In this country, if you want to choose something like this to protect yourself with, you can. Little 22 Magnum pocket revolver. You want to jump up? Go up a little. This is a Glock. You can use this. Good home protection. Good everyday carry. You want to? How about something like this? Excellent for protecting you and your family in your home. Okay? You want to step it up a notch? We can go this way. You know, 300 blackout. The thing is, I'm tired of individuals who have secret service protection for the rest of their lives and bodyguards and so forth, telling the rest of us what we need and what we don't need. It's not gun violence. It's violence. It's violence. You know, Timothy McVeigh used a bomb and brought down an entire building, killed a lot of people in that bombing, that is violence. So what our society wants to do, and they're trying to force on us, they want to treat the symptoms, but not treat the disease. And you know, if you start treating the disease, you're going to lock up some of these politicians and some of their family members. Oh, we can't have that. So I want you to sit back and think about it a little bit. They need to stop blaming an instrument a gun will do this a gun will function will not function or to go old you grow old you know it's a tool it is a life-saving and a life-taking tool but they want to concentrate on the violence well how about this how about some of the politicians and clergy get out there in the streets and work with some of these gang members how about that? Why don't y'all put some skin in the game 
on doing something realistic about it. How about the U.S. attorney every time a gang member commits a crime? Why don't you go after the upper leadership and start putting upper leadership in life for running an organized crime um, um, group? How about that? Let's do something about that. Let's let some nonviolent offenders out and use our prisons to put these guys away. And when they start disappearing or they start seeing their friends disappearing, the crime rate is going to go down. Thanks for watching. That's my little rant. Hey, have a great day and fire up the comments with whichever side you decide you want to fill on, fall on. Fire up the comments. Let's hear what you got to say.